Hi guys, it's Ben here with a preview of Liverpool versus West Bromwich Albion, which takes place at Anfield on Wednesday night. Liverpool will need to bounce back from that disappointment, that setback at home to Everton on Sunday. You know, the, the dust has somewhat settled. We've had the Champions League draw since then, which has kind of cheered us all up a little bit. I think in the heat at the moment, obviously, we're all very upset. You know, I, I for one came on here and you know, cut a dejected figure. Um, but look, I, I picked myself up today. Porto is, is a wonderful uh, Champions League draw. I've booked my flights and going out there. Um, so look, <laughs> a win on Wednesday and I think all's okay again. Um, I stand by my comments as far as I think Jurgen Klopp got a team selection wrong. I think it was naive. I think it was too brave uh, to the extent to, to, the, to the point where we just didn't have enough quality on that pitch to really see the game off. I know Mane should have squared it for 2-0. Uh, I know there was enough on that pitch and we, we were a much better side than them. Um, but if you want to be putting games to, to bed, if, if you want to be pretty much not guaranteeing victory but giving yourself as much of a chance as possible, you need to have at least one of the Brazilian boys on there. Um, you know, to, 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 to rest two of the Fab Four, as, as they call them, I, st I still stand by the fact that I think that's naive uh, and I thought we were too sluggish in midfield without either Channel or Van Aldem. Um but, look, we've got to look ahead. It's, it's, it's a draw. We're unbeaten in 10. Uh, still unbeaten since that Spurs game. Uh, outside of you know, Spurs, Man City and the Leicester League Cup game were undefeated this season still. Um, you know, unbe unbeaten at Anfield as well, which is which is crucial. You know, we really are making that a tough place to come and get anything. Everton had to really, you know, ride their luck to get anything from Anfield on Sunday. I think West Brom are going to be in a similar situation. Um, Everton are bad, but I think West Brom are probably, you know, if not worse, then on the exact same level. Um, they've got Salomon Rondon up front, who, yes, they're going to look to bully us. They've got Robson Carney, who can throw his weight around a bit, so as far as team selection goes, I'm not sure what Liverpool are going to do. I mean, Chan and Vijnaldum have to come in, they absolutely have to. Uh, we really, really missed their, their technique, their strength, their sort of speed in the middle of the park uh, yesterday. It uh, goes without saying that Firmino and Coutinho have to come back in, which I'm sure all four of those players will. Um, otherwise, so if, if we go through the whole team, Mignolet, will we rest Joe Gomez? Obviously, it's a physical threat that West Brom pose, you know, set pieces. He is bigger than Trent, but he's played the last two games. I'll probably go, I'll probably go with Trent here. Lovren and Clavin uh, as your, your centre-backs, and then Andy Robertson on the left. Um, Henderson, I think, might miss out. Um, the man that everyone's talking about at the moment. Not a popular figure, um, you know, around Liverpool sort of fans on, on social media from what I've seen. And, you know, I, I had, had a bit of a go at him myself after the derby. I don't think he was particularly good. I don't think he's in great form at the moment. And I, I like Jordan Henderson. I think he's a good, solid Liverpool squad player. Um, but I am beginning to question his captaincy. That's another debate for another day. Chan, Vijnaldum, Coutinho in midfield. Um, look, he might rest Mane. He might rest Mane. He's played, he's, he, again, has played the last two games. He's played... Uh, pretty much 90 minutes, uh, I think, in, in both of those home games against Sparta, Moscow and Everton. So uh, I wouldn't be surprised to see Oxley chamberlain keep his place and then have Firmino and Salah uh, up front with him. Uh, we've got to win the game. We've got to win the game. Um, I think the next two games, West Brom and Bournemouth, are, are you know, no excuses for not winning those. We go into the Arsenal game uh, three days before Christmas on two points a game, which, you know, we've not managed to be on. Um, enough this season it's, it's the pace we were at last season and, and the pace we're going to need to be at again I think if we're going to be top four uh, and challenging those above us we're going to need to be at least two points a game probably touching 80 points to be honest um, so it's, you know you, you've got to get to that pace early because we know what can happen in January and February especially with European football this time as well the, we did struggle with that last time as fatigue started to set in so we've got to put ourselves in as good position as, position as possible um, with, with two wins here against West Brom and Bournemouth but obviously West Brom's the focus uh, we, we know what we're going to get from them. Um, you know, obviously it's different now. Tony Pulis isn't there. It's probably not quite as, as big Sam like as it, as it is going to be under Pardew. But I doubt they're going to be going for it too much. I think you know they're going to very much look to stay in the game, to keep it at one nil maximum for as long as possible, and hope they get a chance because this Liverpool team will give you a chance at some point, uh, relatively often. Um, although, look, let's not be too downbeat about what's happening at the moment. We're still ten without defeat. We're still scoring loads of goals. When, when we've got our full team playing, when we've got all, you know, all, all the main attacking threats on the pitch, uh, which at least three of the four have to be on there this time, and then you've got Chan and Vijnaldum, who give you a lot more than Henderson and Milner in, in, as far as midfield mobility and creativity is concerned. So, I'm f look, I, yesterday was a blow. Um, I, I made my feelings clear, but positivity has to you know, remain prominent, and 
that's the stance I'm going to take going into this one against West Brom. I'm, I, I, I can see a comfortable win here. Uh, I'm going to go for 3-1. I know West Brom have given us a couple of problems at Anfield uh, down the years. I remember, I remember Lukaku scoring in a 2-0 win for them. I remember the, the 2 all draw when the club obviously famously you know, celebrated with the, with the players and the fans at the cop end. But this time, I think we're a bit stronger. I think they're a bit weaker. They're, they're an ageing squad. I think their average age is about 28. We should, we should just have the pace and power to steamroll them. Um, Salad to continue his goal scoring form. Um, but yeah, let me know how you feel about the Champions League draw. Let me know your predictions for this game in the comments below. Make sure you subscribe if you're new. Hope you enjoyed the video. Follow my other socials too. It's Ben might say on Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, and Facebook. And uh, I'm off to see Liam Gallagher tomorrow night in Birmingham. So that's exciting if you care about that sort of thing. But uh, I'll see you next time.